Good stuff. Hot. Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're up doing well, making some moves, got the mind in the right place. But if not, let's put it in the right place. So um, I'm going to do a follow-up a little bit because yesterday's episode was uh, commit first, figure it out later. Commit first, figure it out later. Sometimes we uh, think about things too much, things that we want to do. And then just don't do them because we're spending too much time thinking about them and not actually taking action to actually do them. So today, um, it's the uh, it goes in line with that. It's the have a can do attitude. All right, the can can do attitude. And again, if you're just now following me, don't know where I'm at. I'm still in the 10x book. All right, Grant Cardone, more of a business guy, but has a lot of really good stuff that when I'm listening and reading to it, um, I think can you know, help a lot of people out with just day-to-day -day stuff, day-to-day -day troubles and mindsets and stuff like that. So um, let me go ahead and go into it and then we'll break it down a little further afterwards. So uh, people with a can-do attitude approach every situation with the outlook that no matter what, it can be done. They consistently use phrases like, we can do it, let's make it happen, let's work it out. And they always maintain that a solution exists. These people talk in terms of explanations and resolving issues and consistently communicate challenges with a positive outlook. They respond to even the most daunting and seemingly impossible situation in a can-do manner. This attitude is more valuable than a superior product and a lower price and is one of the only ways you'll be able to accomplish 10x massive actions. If you're not willing to approach everything with, a, with an attitude that it can be done, then you won't truly be thinking in 10x. You must believe and convey to others that a solution does indeed exist even if you're going to have to work a little harder to find it incorporate this kind of can-do outlook into your language thoughts actions and responses to everyone you know help your entire company develop this kind of attitude by drilling it into them on a daily basis take even the most impossible request and figure out how you can answer with a can-do attitude get yourself and your colleagues to the point where responses like can do no problem, we'll, we will handle it, become the norm, and nothing else is even accepted. Throwing up your hands at a task will not move things forward. Communicate to yourself and others that you are willing to do whatever is necessary to figure it out. An, alter an alternative response to I don't know is a great question. Let me check into that and figure it out. You are still being honest, but you're inciting a solution instead of implying ineptitude. Okay, so... Um, that right there is basically what these videos are about, these episodes are about. Like, like we all every day have things that we face and we have problems with, things that we're dealing with. And um, I, you just got two ways to look at it. Like, yeah, this sucks. And, um, you know, life sucks. And everyone's out to get me. The world's out to get me. And things aren't going to get better. And uh, I guess this is the way life is supposed to be. Um, I was meant to be losing i guess and then you can have the opposite to that which is you know i can do it i'll figure it out i'll make it happen we'll get it to work um some of the other ones um you know that that kind of thing that kind of mindset like he says incorporate into your language thoughts actions and responses to everyone you know your entire company so all my students hear this stuff day in and day out on the mat every single class like i'm always talking about this stuff these kind of you know, mindsets and attitudes and, uh, you know, not being lazy, not, you know, just tons of this stuff every day. And then I play it on the radio and then I'm all, obviously I'm doing these episodes. So it's just a constant push to just help like, you know, everyone out there, like just have a better mindset that things can be fixed. Things can be overcome versus I know a lot of people that are just so negative with everything. Again, a lot of this stuff is self-inflicted wounds that we do to ourselves, so we just have to be better with our choices. And then after that, it's just more of like, regardless of what comes our way, um, it'll be all right, I can fix it, I'll make it happen, I'll make it work, we'll get through it, it'll get better, those kind of things versus the complete opposite. I know those certain individuals that I know personally, doesn't matter what you tell them, it's, it's just always a debate. You got something good to say, they got something negative to say. You got, you're trying to, twist things around into a better way 
they're twisting it back into the into a negative way and it's like man do you do you or do not do you do not want to get better it seems like you don't want to get better because every time i say something you have the opposite to say like it it's just not going to work you know what i'm saying i think you all probably know people like that maybe that's you maybe that's you that's saying someone's trying to help you someone's trying to give you advice someone's trying to give you tips and you just shoot them down with something negative all the time i literally know someone like that like personally like it's like no matter what i say they have a comeback like it's not gonna work like it like life's out to get them um it, you know like they're there's the most unluckiest person in the world and you know i don't know like they don't even know why they 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 exist kind of thing because you know everything sucks for them and, and it's it's going to continue to suck um until they change their mindset till they change their attitude it will not get better magically by thinking the wrong things all the time and again pushing this to my students every day because every time someone comes to the school you know they're all dealing with something i got i got people on the mat that are dealing with divorces i got people on the mat dealing with with everything you can think of I, I deal with so many people every day and it's like man we can sit here and cry and moan and whine about everything that we're going through or we can find solutions to the problems and change our mindsets and try to make things better you know um you know i think it was uh saturday morning saturday morning yeah i had all kind of stuff going on. i didn't even go to jiu-jitsu class on saturday morning that's that's not normal like i don't i can't remember like the last time unless i'm out of town um competing or coaching or some kind of business thing or something like i'm in class right but i'm here at home dealing with all kind of stuff that was kind of unexpected um and it sucked but i'm like man it's just one of those days i just gotta work through it that was just the attitude like i know it was it was gonna be all right you know it just today was just one of those days where i just couldn't get away my presence was needed here at the house i had all kind of work going on and um yeah you know a day without jujitsu is not normal for me especially if i'm not hurt or out of town you know i'm on the match training and so for me to have to miss class and not get get the training in uh really sucked but it was all right because i'm getting other things done and i'm like i'll be all right you know what i mean i'll be all right but it's just the attitude um that you got to have we can do it let's make it happen let's work it out all right so hopefully this helps it's all in the attitude all in the attitude and you'll figure it out if not you'll stay right where you're at and it'll just get worse okay so you have two choices just fix your attitude and things will get better you know believe that it'll get better not just believing and hoping and praying and all that stuff works but uh, you actually got to take some actions and to put things in perspective and, and make some actually make things better and the first thing you, you do with that is your attitude so trying to help not only myself with this stuff and my students and the people around me but all of you out there as well so change your attitude and things will definitely get better if you continue thinking that uh you know the world is out to get you and life sucks and things aren't ever going to get better they won't get better all right guys hope that helps you have a great one today and i'll catch you on the next one